Good evening from London. The UK blue chip index has been trading in positive territory today, despite the latest GDP figures falling short of expectations. Economic growth in the third quarter slowed to 1.3%, a significant fall from the 5.5% recorded in the second quarter. Despite the disappointment, some economists believe the Bank of England could still raise rates in December. Uber has raised fares by 10% for London passengers in an attempt to encourage drivers back onto the app. The last time Uber raised its base pricing was in 2017. It comes after thousands of drivers are thought to have quit the ride-hailing firm during the pandemic because of an absence of support. The shortage has led to a surge pricing and long wait times. Australia's unemployment rate has unexpectedly surged to 5.2 percent. This is despite the end of lockdowns in Sydney and Melbourne. According to data from the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the rate is at the highest level since April, when 5.5 percent of the labour force were without work. The Australian dollar eased to a one-month low against the US dollar in the wake of the report's release, as investors pared back expectations of an early move by the Reserve Bank of Australia to raise interest rates. Tesla chief Elon Musk has sold around $5 billion of shares in the electric car maker just a few days after he asked his Twitter followers whether he should sell a 10% stake. Three and a half million votes were cast, with 58% voting in favour of him selling. The sell equates to about 3% of Musk's total holdings. It's his first sell of shares since 2016. The stock sank 12% on Tuesday, but recovered by 4.3% overnight. And those are your main stories from London at close of business.